Showcase time! <laughs> I am Olive Wade and welcome to my wonderland. This week is going to be a little petite unboxing as I've had quite a busy week. Just got another shot of vaccine and not feeling too crash hot. So I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to give you a closer look at this gorgeous pop-up parade figure. I mean a little look at the box, it's pretty simple, a little bland. Ah, but getting out the knife, let's crack this girl out of this plastic prison. Super keen, I bought this from Sugo Toys not too long ago because I wanted to... I had quite a few pre-orders from them and I hadn't received anything yet and even though they got epic reviews and I just wanted to buy something that they had in stock. So I did and it came packaged beautifully, lots of bubble wrap, highly recommend Sugo Toys. They're actually my number one pre-order site at present. Cutting her open, the pack really well. I love that you have the window with the box so you can see them, even though they're covered in a lot of plastic, so it's kind of like obscure view. Man, I'm taking quite a long time trying to get her out of this box. See, look, I'm cutting near the head there, but very slowly. As I've mentioned in past unboxings, I've seen people cut really close to the head but like really quickly and it does oh it gives me shivers so I will not hopefully give you the same fright. Cracking open the base and I actually really love the base colour that they chose for her because it quite complements her hair but also it's enough that it makes the figure stand out maybe because it's close to a black so you can see the details and it does not take away from that and taking a quick look um, my camera cut out, unfortunately, I was running low on space, and she is looking so detailed, oh my goodness, um, trying to get on the base, I had a bit of trouble, but then I worked out my issue was, the top torso pops off, and look at that, so getting right in there, oh, I love those knee-high boots, <laughs> the shine, the design, not to mention, I didn't know she had, like, her, because she's an ex machina, so she has a machine, obviously, and that's why I feel comfortable, I guess, showing this part of her, is because she's a machine, and a robot, and the fact that she has these epic sculpted little details in her legs, you don't really see them because she's got her epic hoodie dress, but the fact that they're there is absolutely epic. I was not expecting that, and I thought it was an epic detail. <laughs> But getting that on, oh my goodness, look at her hair, and I'm just pointing out a little stitching there. My version came with no issues. Uh, the only thing, is, I guess, there is some seams on the sculpt near her hair, near her neck. That could have been slightly improved. But otherwise, look at how gorgeous she is. Oh my goodness, her eyes, stunning. Oh. <laughs> For such a little figure, and I, I didn't think I would like I'll pray it's this much, you know, I'll give them a go because they have some of my favourite characters, aka okay, Sniper Shiro and Ursa Scarlet, my first two, now my third Chewy, and what can I say, I am just absolutely loving this figure. The paintwork makes it all look like, almost like the animation, like a 2D, but in three-dimensional shape, the sculpt, the folds in her clothing, oh, it's just gorgeous. Anyway, I thought I'd do a quick review for you all, so let me give you my final thoughts of this figure. Starting off with sculpting, 
The sculpt is beautiful. I love all the little details. Sure, the hair strands have a little bit of a showing not clean seam. However, overall the shapes and details of the character overall are very well done. Painting. Simple clean paint job fills out the sculpted details very well. Love the colours and the use of the matte and gloss surfaces. Represents this character's beautiful colour scheme to point. Posing. The posing is so graceful. Feels so atmospheric with the motion of her hair and stance. Kind of a cute genuine hero pose which I think suits her character perfectly. She's trying to understand the world and I feel this captures that. <laughs> Base. Well, you know how I feel about the pop-up prey bases. I would love it ultimately all of them just to be a clear round circlet but i don't mind the hexagonal shape and if it had to be a color i do love the choice for this figure because it does not take away from the details at all and does complement the hair without draining it from that color box the windows are great and they show the entirety of the figure protects it well however it is very boring i have to admit instead of doing this arrow like weird shapes pattern they've done that just looks like honestly pattern on a train seat or bus seat if you know the fabric they use if you know what I mean they should have done something like a holographic square glitching gradient I think that would have been so epic or even like or the window to be a cut out chess piece like the one she's holding I think that would have been so much cooler and they could have still done it simple but that was just me going off on a little bit of an artistic tangent <laughs> Overall, for a small figure line, I am absolutely falling in love with pop-up braids. Shui is just absolutely beautiful represented here, what can I say? I had so much fun shooting the beginning showcase. She just has such a presence. How adorable does she look, honestly? Her hoodie and her hair, the eyes, just stunning. The extra sculpted details on her legs are an extra bonus too. One thing though, her joint of her torso isn't exactly the snuggest fit. If you do pick her up, be sure to pick her up from the base and hold the top. As I've tried picking her up from the arms a few times and I've lost her lower half quite a number of times. <laughs> Gets me every time. Oh, I, I really need to be careful next time I pick her up. Scale reference. Here she is next to Shiro. Pop up parade by Good Smile Company, of course. Circloid Hatsune Miku Sakura 2020 version by Taito. Statsuki Senkitsu version by Good Smile Company. And of course, Shakaga no Shana Good Smile Company Nendroid. So that's my little petite unboxing this week. I'm sorry it's not long as my usual videos. Hopefully next week I'll be able to crack at it and bring you another epic video. I hope you have a lovely week. Until next week, stay safe, treat yourself, and I'll see you same time, same day.